Long time ago, there was a boy called Sahaj. His family were Sahaj yogis. And one day, Sahaj had this desire of going to India. Mom, the other day I met a few kids who go to ISPS and they told me it's a lot of fun studying there. Mom, have you been there before? Oh yes, I visited the school with your dad before you were born. The school is located up in the mountain and the children are like angels. It's a paradise there. And you have to stay there for so long every year? It's nine months, but you'll get to live with all your brothers and sisters. You'll get to learn more about Sahaja Yoga and Sri Mataji. And with her blessing, you'll become one of our strongest and best looking angels. Dad, Mom, can I go to that school? Please, please, please? Are, are you sure? sure? Yes. Oh, then we are wasting time. We should start preparing now as the new term starts in March. But Mom, I will miss you and Daddy and Coco. No, son. We will talk on the phone and we can write to each other. Think how wonderful it will be to live up in the mountains, full of nature, with all your brothers and sisters and learn about Sahaj Yog. Okay, Mom. And this is how Sahaj leaves for India, taking a flight together with his parents and looking out of the window all the time at the beautiful clouds. Look, Sahaj, with so many new brothers around, you're going to have lots of fun here. We are leaving, but remember, your older brother, Sri Ganesh, will always be there to protect you and look after you. I know. Since then, Sahaj started living happily in ISPS, making new friends, playing his favorite games, learning music, and about Sahaja Yoga. Life is so different here. Everyone is so caring and loving. Hello Sahaj, how are you? How is your school going? 
Hi, Mom. I'm fine. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm really happy here. Everyone here is super nice. It's exactly like what you have said, paradise. But yes, I do miss you sometimes. We miss you too, love. We will talk soon, okay? Jai Shri Mataji. Who is the bravest person on earth? Iron Man, Superman. A person who can return love for hatred is the bravest person. Who is the hero in real life? Spider Man, Thor, X Men. Those are not real. A person who can forgive is the real hero. One day, the children went for an outing to a place called bus stop. While eating, Sahad saw a boy in a local school uniform crying near a broken cricket pitch. Sahad is not sure whether he should go over to console the child, as many people were ignoring him. But Sahad feels bad, so he goes over to the child and pats him on the shoulder. Why are you crying? The child speaks very little English, but manages to convey the message that the big boys are bullying him because he is from southern India and his family recently moved to Dharamashala. Don't worry if you are not from here and can't speak Hindi very well. What is your name? My name is Raghavan. Raghavan, are you still upset? Yes. Do you want to be happy? Yes. Let's meditate because meditation makes everyone happy. Now please, put your right hand on your heart and close your eyes. And now see in your heart, Mother, I am the pure love. Please let me feel the joy and happiness in me. Next time, if anyone tries to disturb you, or if you see anyone fighting with each other, ask them to meditate and everyone will become your friend. In no time, Sahaj and Raghavan became friends. <laughs> Sahaj is still worried, as he doesn't know how to really help the boy who has been bullied. Good night, children. Why are you upset? I know a child who has been bullied and I can feel his pain in me. When you feel the suffering of others, that is consciousness. What you have encountered today is for you to experience how it feels like when you get bullied. But also for you to understand the power of meditation. When you grow stronger, you can stand against any bullying. But when you are innocent, you can change the heart of all those around you. So don't get upset about it. The innocent should never be harmed. And it's my duty to protect the innocent. All children are looked after by me and Sri Hanuman. Thank you, Sri Ganesha. The next Sunday, the boys visited the lake. Sahad sees Raghavan waiting for him. 
eagerly wanting to meet him. This time, Ragwan is very happy. Hi Ragavan, how are you? You look very happy. I am very happy and I want to thank you for that. I did what you told me to do. Those boys who were bullying me, I taught them how to meditate. And now they are my friends and they don't trouble me anymore. Thank you Shri Ganesha.